Welcome back creators to another iMovie in 2 and today we are covering green screen. So let's begin. I have iMovie already open. I imported my main video into the timeline. I took my green screen footage and added it above my main timeline and that's where we're at. Now we just need to key out the green Now we just have to key out the green off from our footage. The first thing I like to do is go up here to backgrounds. Grab this really bright red. And that way when I key out the green, it's easier, easier to notice if I missed anything over this solid red color than doing it over this footage where there is a, a large color and objects and it's just hard to see if I keyed out everything. So let's go ahead and put our play bar right here over top the green footage and select your gr I'll call green footage and go up here to this little box. This is the add, add as an overlay box. You're going to click on it and if you haven't seen my picture in picture you can go check that video out but today we're going to go over, click on that drop down menu right here and pick green or blue. So you can do this with a green or blue screen depending what your subject is wearing or the colors of your subject. Once you click it, it's going to automatically key out all the green. And as you can see, it, it did okay at first, but there's a lot of cleaning up to do. Now, if I slid this over the main timeline, it's harder to notice. It looks a lot of, it looks noisy, but you really can't tell where you're problem areas are. So I'm going to move it back over here. I just want to show you that so you can see why I use the red background. All right, so up here uh, we have softness. This will control the scale of how much it's pulling from the green. What are the lateral limits of that color spectrum it's trying to pull? So sometimes this doesn't do quite as well because if you get too high to get all the green off, you can see my subject we'll call them Bob, here starts to fade a little bit because it starts pulling into those colors. So I like to go over here. You also have this cleanup where you can select a box and trim out the edges. Now if your subject's moving, you want to make sure that these boxes don't go into the character's motion or he'll be cut out, as you can see. But that's not going to do it all either. So I think for this shot, we're just going to go ahead and use that eraser tool. And that's going to select more specifically the color that we want to try to key out. So I grab the eraser tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on some of this. I'm going to click on that. And there we go. So just shooting a green screen, throwing it in there, hit, putting on the green screen and uh, as an overlay, using this little color selector eraser, whatever you want to call it, and it seemed to do pretty good. Let's check the whole footage. It's not bad. Not bad. So we'll go ahead and move it over here. And as you can see, it looks a lot better than that first one we did. And then you just want to position your, your subject. To where you want them in your film. And this is just an, an example footage that I'm using. So it really doesn't make any sense. He's clapping. Hey, nice to see you. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Back up off me. Bam. We'll get rid of that. Now, if this was something I was working on, I'd be finished at this point, and I would go ahead and render it out, or as far as iMovie is, goes, you hit File, Share, and you can upload to YouTube, or uh, hit File, and save it as an image, or as a, uh, save it as a movie. There you have it. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next time with Digital Creators, and don't forget to... 
hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.